brilliant. You've actually been tagging me in a bunch of different brands that do this. I don't know if it's like a new concept. It's new to me though. I've never seen it until now. And then look at this finished meal. It literally looks edible. Oh, and then it's so satisfying when they squish it all together. I'm so excited. So I got five courses of slime from this brand that we're gonna try out. And one of them is the most expensive slime I have ever bought. Ta-da. Oh my gosh, the packaging is so cute. Okay, here it all is. Let's start with course number one, which is this cute love Pacino. Oh my gosh, it's in like a legit piping thing. Okay, and here's our crumbles. All right, I think we're good. I think we've got everything. Oh, this is so cute. Honestly, this little slime series has been the biggest surprise to me. A, how much fun I'm having. B, how much you guys seem to like it. I don't know, there's just something like cozy and satisfying and nostalgic about slime. Okay, here's everything. They don't really come with instructions. It's just a choose your own adventure, I guess. <laughs> I'm thinking we mix our jam and our milk together and make like a pretty blended look. Oh, this one's sticky. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This one smells like strawberry jello. Oh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> What? This is so good. It smells like strawberry. That's amazing. Right out of the container. This is amazing. Like this is actually pretty high quality slime. I'm a slime expert now after my three slime videos. <laughs> so this Love Pacino was $23, which seemed like a lot, but now that I have it, I mean, you get quite a bit of slime and I'm already very impressed by it. I don't know, we'll see if the rest of it ends up being worth the money. <laughs> Oh, I can't get over how good it smells. Is this all gonna fit in my tiny cup? <laughs> all right, now we just mix our drink. Don't wanna mix it too much because I wanna get those pretty streaks in there. Oh my gosh, I love this. All right, let's put our drink in the cup. Okay, I'm really excited for this next part, our whipped cream. Oh, it's thick. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so difficult to get out. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this one is one of my favorite types of slime. I've seen it called like towel slime, but it has almost like a cottony feel to it. I love this one. This one might take a second. Oh, I think that's all my hands can take. All right, jelly and our crumble. What is this made out of? Do we think this is actual food? It smells sweet. Should I try to eat it? I don't know what it is, but it's not real food. Let's put some of this on the top. Ah! Okay, even though we didn't get all of the whipped cream onto it, I think it turned out pretty cute. <gasps> wow. And it was pretty enjoyable to make until we got to the whipped cream part. This was an eight out of 10 experience to make, but we still have four courses left and then we're gonna squish it all. <laughs> all right, course number two, our cheapest course is $11 and it's these little grilled cheeses. I thought this would make for cute appetizer, I guess. <laughs> I wondered why the grilled cheese was so much cheaper than everything else. And I'm realizing it's because they're tiny. Look at these tiny slices of bread. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. I was totally expecting like a realistic size. And it also came with cheese. <gasps> Is it gonna actually smell like cheese? Let's see. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like nacho cheese. Mm, it smells sweet, kind of like sunscreen, not cheese. I feel like you get a lot of cheese for not a lot of bread, but that's okay, I guess. Ooh, this one's nice. Oh, it's a little sticky. We might need a little bit of activator for this one, which they did send to me plenty of. Drops, there we go. Okay, I guess I'll just make a little cheese patty. It's too big. You just need the smallest amount to fit in these breads. I mean, they nailed a melted cheese consistency with the slime, I will say. All right. Oh, this one's gonna be super satisfying to crunch. <laughs> Plop our other bread on. All right. There's our $11 grilled cheese. <laughs> Put it on our plate here. Course number two's done, I guess. Plenty of leftover cheese, that's for sure. All right. Now we're getting into the really exciting meals. Course number three which is kind of our first entree. We have pizza. 
Okay, so we've got dough, tomato sauce, mozzarella, lots more activator. I am gonna be set for life on activator. Ooh, oil, some little leaves. And I guess these are our flowers and seasonings and stuff. On the package, don't eat it. <laughs> they should have put that on the drink topping before I, I did that. Oh, and a little knife. We've got this cute piece of paper. Maybe I'll build my pizza on top of that. All right, I'm guessing step one, pizza dough. Oh, the texture of this one is so satisfying. Wow. Oh, I love it. It's one of the fluffy slimes. I'm really surprised these don't. Oh, no, no, no. It does come with instructions. Okay. Start by rolling out the dough with the help of a little flour. Okay. So just like we're making a real pizza, go a little flour. Oh my gosh. It feels like actual flour. This is awesome. Roll it out. This actually looks like you could eat it. This is crazy. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna transfer my pizza onto the cute paper here to finish it up. Okay, next step is tomato sauce. Look how cute the packaging is too. <laughs> Do not eat on all of the stuff. <laughs> Ooh, this is like really similar to the strawberry jam, but it does smell different. This one just smells sweet. Almost like a citrusy. Ooh, I guess we just pour it on. You know, it doesn't quite spread like an actual sauce. <laughs> We're getting there though. Cute, we have sauce. Okay, how do I make this mozzarella look realistic is the question. I just have it like melted into the sauce. I mean, it's giving like marshmallow fluff more than it is mozzarella cheese, but I think we can, I think we can fix it. Ah, if we mix it in with the sauce a little bit. Okay, not bad. It's a little bright to pass as like actual pizza, but we're getting there. Okay, the instructions say, the time has come to color the pizza crust as if it were cooked. Okay, so I think we just use these little packets of color and add it to the crust to make it look like it's browned from the oven. Okay, I wonder if I should add some of it to the cheese too to kind of make it look, oh, nope, 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 nope. Look like the cheese is cooked. I don't know, maybe this is a mistake, but the cheese is just looking a little too white. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that gave it a little bit more of a toasted cheese look. Okay, I think our pizza is colored. The last couple steps, add oil and basil. Okay, you just dump this all over the top or what? I mean, it already looks pretty oily to me, but I guess. Nice. Honestly, the oil will just make it more fun to squish, so this is fine. And our little leaves, which are definitely plastic, by the way. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <gasps> It's kind of realistic. I feel like I could have done a better job at like making the crust stick up higher than the rest of the pizza, but it's fine. Oh no, look what's happening to our grilled cheese over here. It's just really, really melty. Our first three courses are complete and now we're moving on to course number four. It's gonna be pretty hard to beat that pizza, but I'm really curious about this next one. This one was $50, <laughs> so it better be satisfying. We are making ravioli next. They were actually sold out of the spaghetti one that I showed you at the beginning of the video, but this ravioli one looks maybe like more fun, we'll see. Oh my gosh, and it comes with eggs. That's honestly the part that I was the most excited about, so that's good. You know, our dough is busting out of the can here. Oh, well, hopefully it's still good. It's kind of hard. Uh oh. See, some more cheese, mozzarella. Oh, a whole box of flour this time. Cute. Wow, look at this. This one even comes with rollers and cutters. <gasps> And a plate. I love this. Wow, more activator. Just what I needed. Okie dokie, step one. Put all the flour on the table and add the fake eggs and a bit of oil. Okay, so maybe it's okay if it's a little crunchy because we're adding eggs and oil. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, this is a very similar texture to the pizza dough, but this one's just a little bit more yellow. Ravioli colored. Noodle colored, I guess. <laughs> Cute. All right, add fake eggs. Oh, wait, you don't actually break the eggs open. You just put the yolk in. That's not as much fun. Okay, I guess those ones are just there for looks. We added both eggs? That seems like a lot of egg. I swear in the video they cracked open an egg unless it was just editing magic. All right, eggs in and a bit of oil. I don't know how much a bit is, so I'll just do a drizzle. Okay, now we mix our dough. Okay, I like this fluffy, cloudy slime mixed with the kind of sticky, glossy one. Nice. Okay, roll out the dough with a bit of flour is our next step. Oh, I can't get over how adorable this packaging is. Right. A little bit of flour on the table. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, now 
me just roll it out flat. Ah! Okay, you have to use a lot of flour or else it just sticks to the rolling pin. Here we go. Okay, this is not the cutest rolling job, <laughs> but I think it will work. All right, next step is our ricotta cheese. And I think we're supposed to put it in this thing? This is intense. I feel like I'm actually cooking a meal here. Like I need to use my whole table. <laughs> How do I get it out of here now? Pull it, maybe? Ah! Oh no, it's stuck forever. Get out! Oh my gosh, I hate this step. I don't even know what the point of it is because- So, pointless step. Doing this my way. Okay, there's our cheese with our green stuff. Guess we just take three little balls of it and put it in our dough. Okay, now we close our pasta. Okay, I feel like I rolled out my pasta way too big. <laughs> like I can probably get rid of literally half of it. Okay, now we, oh, it's kind of sticking to the table. Come on, pasta. Ah! <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to look, oh my gosh. I can't cook in real life and I can't cook slime either, apparently. Okay, maybe if I flip it. Okay, that's better. Maybe we can salvage this. Oh my gosh, theirs is so smooth in the video though. How did they do that? Now we cut our raviolis out. Okay, are they the best looking raviolis ever? No, but... <laughs> oh no. They kind of look like raviolis though. I don't hate them. Okay, the trick is to get them like really flowery or else they just kind of are sticky. One, two, three. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, now we add our tomato sauce. And it looks like they kind of stretch it into a thin layer and then plop it over the top. See, this is good. We get to cover our raviolis all up and nobody will ever know what a disaster it was. Okay, and then we add a little bit more cheese around the top. Messily put it on so that it looks like melted cheese. Nice. Okay, now we garnish it with a little bit more of whatever this green stuff is supposed to be. <laughs> and leaves. It's pretty cute. I mean, it turned out not bad. Once we got our ravioli all covered up, it's actually pretty cute. This one was a little bit more stressful to make than the pizza. Still pretty fun though. We have so much leftover slime though. Like we could make at least one more dish with this stuff. Um, before we move on to course number five, we have to take a look at this pizza. Cause look, it's all started kind of melting together. So I'm assuming that's what the oil is for is to kind of mix the slimes together. And now it looks so cool. So added some oil to the ravioli as well. So I think it'll give it that effect over the next few minutes. <laughs> look how filthy I am. <laughs> it looks like I've actually been baking real food. This is crazy. Course number five, we started with dessert and we have to end with dessert. <laughs> okay, this is a little cherry pie kit. I'm excited for this one. We got a little pie tin. Ooh, chocolate dough more activator. I literally, I may have gotten my money's worth in activator from this haul. Oh my goodness. Look at the little cherries it comes with. This looks like filling of some sort. Oh, I love this. All right. Step number one, roll out the dough. Okay. I'm going to use so much flour this time. Okay. We get chocolate dough this time then. Oh wow. Look at the texture of this one. Brownie batter. Honestly, I think that the ravioli would have gone better if I didn't add the eggs and the oil. <laughs> Cause this is great dough texture right here before you add anything. All right, we just roll this out flat. I also feel like hands work better than the rolling pin as cute as it was. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that sound. Okay, I think that's flat enough. Okay, next we use our little tin. Is there two? Yeah, there's definitely two pie molds. I just can't get them apart. What? Why was that so easy for you? <laughs> Ta-da, okay. All right, and then we just stamp this out. Ooh, there's our little pie crust. Press it down. Oh, so cute. Oh, I hope I don't have to take it out of here because I doubt that's coming out. Okay, now we spoon our pastry cream into the center of our pie. This actually sounds so good. Chocolate pie with vanilla cream. They really nailed it on all of the textures for the slime. Everything really does just kind of melt together exactly how it's supposed to without the use of a ton of the activator. Beautiful. Okay, now we do a dollop of our cherry syrup in the middle. Okay, and then we de-stem a few of the cherries. That's such a random step. Add them to the top of our pie. Garnish it with some leaves. And then they sprinkled some of the flour on top, I think, to make it look like powdered sugar. Cute! 
cute. Wow, I love that one. Okay, that one was fun to make. I wasn't stressed at all and it turned out so cute. Amazing. And that one definitely comes with enough to make two pies. Course number one, course number two, three, four, and five. Let me know what your favorite one was. Let's squish them now. Starting with our drink. I feel like this one's gonna be the least satisfying because I already squished the majority of it. Oh, the little crunchy pieces are nice though. Oh, and this one just smells so good. Mm. Okay, I like it, but this one was definitely more fun to make than it was to squish. Course number two, our grilled cheese. I'm interested to see if the little breads actually squish. Let's see. Okay, no, they literally don't. I thought they were gonna like break apart. I don't know, it just kind of makes a cheesy mess. Oh, that one broke a little bit. Okay, if you rip it, it comes apart. I don't know, I think this grilled cheese was probably the most disappointing one of all of them, but yeah. All right, I'm excited for this next one. We have course number three, pizza to squish. I'm kind of sad to squish it. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, that's satisfying. Wow, it's really oily. That one's fun. Okay, the little leaves are kind of stabby though. Okay, so it turns into this beautiful pink color. I would still consider it like a fluffy slime. And then there's just two random leaves in here that pop out every once in a while. I like that though, that's a good slime. All right, here's what's left of our pizza. <laughs> they look so funny once they've been squished. All right, the next course are ravioli. I shall enjoy squishing this one for all the trouble it gave me. Go. Ooh, this one's nice to squish. <laughs> What's gonna happen to the green? This kind of stays mixed in, that's fun. So you get little pops of green color in here. Now that one turns into a pretty nice slime at the end too. <laughs> the leaves. Yeah, the leaves are cute for the finished product, but they're not so cute in the actual slime itself. <laughs> All right, there's our ravioli. Last but not least, our little pie. Okay, let's just take the whole thing out of the dish here if we can. Wow, it actually all came out. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, that's way cuter than when it was in the tin. Love that. Oh, I feel bad squishing this one, but here we go. Oh, this one's fun. I like the cherries in this one. The stupid leaves though are so sharp. <laughs> oh wow, look how pretty that looks. Looks like a chocolate cherry milkshake. This one's nice. Okay, so the pizza, the ravioli, and the pie all turned into like a really nice slime at the end. Not the biggest fan of the love Pacino and the grilled cheese sucked. There's our finished squished slimes. <gasps> I feel like we should make a Franken meal slime and <laughs> combine all of them. Love Pacino, grilled cheese, pizza, ravioli, and chocolate pie. All right, let's see what happens. I feel like it's just gonna turn orange, but we'll see. Wow, it looks like Laffy Taffy. <laughs> oh, it all just smells so good. This is probably the best smelling slime. Okay, the grossest color, but it still feels nice. There it is. Five courses of slime. <laughs> it looks really gross. It looks like bubble gum that's been chewed for a really, really long time. That was fun. Honestly, I loved this and I feel like you definitely get your money's worth because look at how much extra slime I still have. Most of these are almost full. So I highly recommend. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to watch my other slime videos if you haven't seen those yet. And we will see you guys in the next video. Say bye YouTube.